Uh, this is Ray Weeks interviewing Ross Nielsen of Nielsen Properties for the uh, State Library. Talk about the scale of your business achievements, where you've come from, or where, from and where you are today. We've done retail and commercial and some residential. It depends on where the cycle is. But certainly the average size uh, of our projects has increased quite dramatically. Um, this project here is, you know, close to $300 million. Probably surprises you when you do look back just how big they've gone from. The very first project I did wasn't, I think it was about a million dollars. Um, yes, yeah, so they, and I, re I literally had very little idea when I started. I, I had a, enough money to live for about a year. I was a bit like Mowgli going to the jungle. <laughs> it's absolutely clueless. This building is the largest and I think the only CBD uh, six-star building in Australia, it, and it is the largest in Australia. It uses one-third of the energy of a typical high-rise building of similar size. Uh, it will take, for example, 1,600, the equivalent of 1,600 cars a year off the road. Up to 40% of the cement that was used in here was recycled with fly ash in it. 80% uh, of the steel was recycled as well. We say the equivalent of probably about six or seven full-size Olympic swimming pools of water by rain harvesting uh, on the roof and then processing that water for our, our, our chillers, for our air conditioning. Try to create a relatively unique uh, Queensland design, I think is really, really important. I mean, I, I mean, we, we see this building as somewhat of an interpretation of a modern Queensland office building, which is, you know, has all the elements that, that an office building should have in terms of functionality, sustainability, um, usability, lots of amenities, um, you know, these 60 showers in here, these 300 bikes, sorts of stuff that no other office buildings ever had before. The colours on the building, um, whilst it's not widely known, are actually Queensland heritage colours. It's just how they've been interpreted and how they've been applied onto the building and how it's actually been used. The whole foyer uh, is all, wherever possible, is all Queensland. It's Chiligo Marble from North Queensland. So wherever possible, we have used um, Queensland uh, materials in keeping with a Queensland builder, Queensland architect, Queensland consultants, Queensland developer. We have about another uh, acre of land in the next street and street across in this what we call this North Quarter precinct. So we've got room to do about another three of these towers progressively over time. Well, there's been over two billion dollars worth of development occurring here, including uh, the Magistrates Court and this new Supreme Court being constructed. These five new office towers have gone up. There's a lot of infrastructure already existing, including Rome Street Rail Yard, but they've had the the bus interchange, they've got the new Northern Busway Tunnel, we've got the new Corralpa Bridge and so it goes. So it's where we will see a lot of change and a lot of things happening. It's interesting because there's a lot of backpackers here, you've got lawyers, you've got accountants, you've got a lot of mining companies, so it's quite an eclectic um, mix and there's also residential as well. So uh, it'll make for a very, in the next 10 years this will be very, very interesting and it's got the, this beautiful connectivity with the arts, mm -hmm. exactly. which, which just makes it so special. It does. I think what we want to be best remembered for, um, I think, is the how we how we go about doing business. What other people say about us. I think most people go into business if they if they understood the sheer enormity of the task that they probably wouldn't go into it. Um, but as you get into it, it's you don't tend to look back. You always tend to look forward. It's only probably in recent years I turned 50 this year that for the first time you actually stop and start to look back at what you've achieved. And some of the people I've been with me have been here for 15 years, uh, 21 years. So I've, I've had some, some incredibly loyal and, um, and committed staff who've been with me on the journey. And I, I really get a great sense of enjoyment out of that. Hopefully we leave some beautiful buildings that are very, very functional, that are sustainable, uh, that do change the skyline. And, and to some degree, change the, how Brisbane people look at themselves and their own view of themselves. Uh, I think that's a really important thing, how the community considers themselves and I, and I think architecture helps a lot to do that.